Mughal is always uh, one custom that carried down to even today is called Indian gum. Indian gum is a fishing contest among all the men of the island. When Indian gum time will come, all the men of the island they go and fish for this. It's called Kebuni. This fish is caught in the deep water. It's only caught by luck. And all the women will stay on land and children. The women will prepare a dish of breadfruit. Either fresh breadfruit or preserved breadfruit. But there has to be breadfruit. And then Long ago, there are some beliefs attached with the fishing. Men always believe that before you fish, you have to stay in the boat house, in the canoe house, or in the man's house, stay away from your wife and prepare the fish you have to because women Mughalese before they they believe women brings bad luck if you go in contest fishing you have to abstain from your woman or your wife so all the able men go out fishing and all the able boys that reach the age of can they pair up with the men and they make sure they, they know how to keep the canoe steady so the man can throw his line straight down not Drifting, the canoe is not drifting, so that, and then all the men went out. When the morning come, the women prepare to cook their breadfruit, and all the men and boys went out fishing. And it's afternoon. They set the time. Everybody will go to the end of the island. You know when you arrive and you see the island next to the channel. Everybody arrived there and then they count. Everybody, the men went around the canoe, each canoe, and count. This man got zero. We call that Kangala and then count. They sort out, separate all the people that didn't catch luck on this cabinet. There's some put on the other side. The people who got one or more, they're not coming like that. This fish is so important. If you cut one, one of it, one of this small or big, they're coming as one. If you cut one fish like this and the shark took all of it and only part of it remained, they can tell it's a it's a deep mouth of a cavity, it is calm. So after they know who is who are the luckiest lucky people and the unlucky. <laughs> They start battling abroad there. 
village. All the Kangalain then come, people that didn't catch, they paddle on the right side. All the people with any cable, because they count only this. All the other fish are not count. No count. They paddle on this side and they chant and ridicule those people. Those are the people who got nothing. Those are the people. Look, those are the people. And we're going, and all the women are looking down. Eh? And before, they always, the women always make a, it's like a shape of a woman, put on there. Just on where people will arrive. And they also do some chanting and say, that's the <laughs> source of <laughs> unluck. <laughs> And then they laugh and they make fun of those people and then they share their company. The biggest one goes to the, the older, they divide the boat according to age. No title. Eh? The older people, they group together, eat together. The next older, they have on, all the way to the children. And that's so that's uh, today we will do it we're, we're still doing it but it's more like a Christian uh, activity the Mughalese is in Bombay they do theirs in ten in Sogas and we do ours in Colonia as a church Thanksgiving for bread fruit we no longer put up a Scarecrow lady, and everybody that works and cannot go fishing, they brought in some uh, gifts ready for the fishermen to come. So they share the uh, fish with everybody, and only the fishermen share the gifts that the women and men that did not go fishing brought. Divide that. This year they decided we're going to do it on June 20th. And the price they decided was the biggest, the most number of kibni, one to five. Most second to five. Five prices. And then there will be a prize given to the biggest cabin. And there will be a prize given to the biggest fish ever caught on that day. And other prize will go to whoever got the most number of other fish. <laughs> what what is the name of that fish in Mokalis? Kepuni. Kepuni. This is Kepuni. And the word for breadfruit? Mai. Mai. Breadfruit is mai. And preserve breadfruit is mar. They put the breadfruit and preserve it in the soil. And it's stay there for years and won't rot. And they pick it up. And canoe? Canoe is what? Canoe is war. 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 Oh. Thank you. It's a beautiful story. <laughs>